Hello, welcome back to Persona 5. Alright, so, we've gone through Akumara's palace, just need to fight him. But, the plan is, is, before I do that, I am going to spend the next few days maxing out her social link. Kafumi's social link, because... I mean, that's, that's super useful for the Reaper. But, um... Her max skill allows me to swap out team members whenever the hell I... On any turn, instead of just Jokers. Which I'll need for the fight with Akumra, because uh, he constantly switches up his enemies. So I need to be able to be more easy, more flexible with my team members. So we're gonna hang out with you. Good evening. I travel over excuses and weather is nice. It's still so hot here in Japan. In addition to practicing reading books, I'll show you. Um. La 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 la. Go to Booktown. Let's go. Get her rank ten. Um. Let's see, I'm looking for a book that contains an anal analysis of certain game of Shogi. My next opponent is a very powerful player. I must study as much as I can to the match, but that... I'll look at all these books and as you can find them. Let's take her time. Yes. Yeah, you're right. I have no intention of giving up easily. I'll do my best to look for it. It would make me happy if you could assist me. Rather than search blindly, we should study the challenge to strategy. First, let's get an idea of how books are arranged here, is it? By title or by author. Let's take a good look around the store. I'd also like to find a book about shogi problems as well. I'll explain while we search. Now then, if we approach this methodology methodically, we will be able to appreciate it. Blah blah. Um, the clerk gave me a gift. It's quite a lovely ornament. You should display it in your room. All right, we got rank nine. Thank unlocked. you very much. She's available every night but Thursday and Friday. All right. Let's grab a bite after school. I do have some big bang burger coupons, but we probably shouldn't go there anymore, huh? Uh, no, I hear you'll have a psychotic breakdown if you eat there. I mean, haven't all of Akumara's enemies died in strange ways? Maybe he free feeds them poisoned burgers. What a monster. You know, I voted Akumara on the fan site. The Phantom Thieves have a duty to punish bad people. I hope they take care of him soon. So maybe you should stand up against him on your own time. That's the kind of the whole point of the Phantom Thieves. Hey. 21 days. You're not sending the calling card. Calm down, everyone. I need prepare. Prepare. And really, the only person I can hang out with is her. Uh, bye. So please head to the exam room. Which one? Do you have SP? Why do you have such a serious... Oh, did you decide? Take this. Eight, nine, ten. Here you go. So you got plenty of healing every one items. You want that one? 45, 46, 47, 48, 48. Wait. Yeah. Thanks. Whatever. They only to sell the HP stuff. I see. But take your time. I will buy two more of these. Effect. There you go. Oh. Take care. 
then head to the airsoft shop to sell all of our junk. Possibly buy some stuff for Haru. Yo. All right. You should be grateful. Okay. My melee weapon. Oh, maybe I don't have to. All right. You know, in-game stuff. Yeah. What about her right. weapon, though? Sounds good. See, I don't have a good weapon for her. That's what you're choosing. Do I get? Okay. All right. Which one? Sounds good. All right. Which one? Sounds good. I think I can level him up uh, more than I can do anything else. So what we got on request? Well, I guess we're working on a part-time job until tonight. Because nobody else is available. Go to work. Welcome. Please. Mm. I can tell you look tired just by looking at you, and I'm looking at you from behind. <laughs> hey. What's wrong? Uh, I saw well... a cat in the road a little while back. He was injured badly. When I got close, he got scared and ran off, dragging its leg. Anyway, I just overheard some college-aged people in our store talking. They said there was a college student living nearby who abuses animals to relieve his stress. And then I remember that injured cat I saw. I'm thinking maybe he was one. He was the one who hurt the cat. Unforgivable. I know how you feel, but the police can't do anything without any proof. I've been thinking about that cat ever since. It's hard to keep smiling. You know the police can't do it, but do you think those phantom thieves can help? Do you know his name? Huh? Oh yeah, I think the guy's name is Kazu Tsuboi. <laughs> that thieves would do it. Yeah. Fucked up his last name. Yeah, I guess you're right. For some reason I feel like the Phantom Thieves really Good really. work! Oh, I'm sorry, it's almost the end of your shift, right? Good work. Hey. Good work. Very nice. You seem pretty busy today. Remember what we talked about earlier, right? Let's leave this alone now. Let's do something about it. Yeah, we can't allow this guy to abuse animals. And he's doing it only for stress relief. He's exactly the type of man we should punish. There's no way I'm just letting this go. Uh, let's steal this creep's desires before he can harm any more innocent animals. Yes. Alright, let's get our pay and then begin the operation. Please excuse me for messaging you so late in the evening. I truly apologize for what has happened in this case. So formal. She seems to be a particularly con conscientious person. Kind of feels like that formality is putting some distance between us, though. Uh, we're teammates, Haru. But I'm the newest member. I need to act respectfully. We don't really pay mind to those kinds of things. Furthermore, you're already one of us. Thank you, Mako-chan. Do you mean me? Sorry, I think my fingers, fingers type that subconsciously. I'm just so glad to have found a friend my age. Not a problem, the personal touch is actually refreshing. Great, I hope we get to be the best of friends, Mako Tune. Uh, sorry about that, I sort of got carried away. <laughs> She's not there, damn it. 
Oh, but she's ready to level up. Or we can hang out with Sojiro. Rank check. Gotta hang out with Yusuke. He's at six. Dwayne Warden's weapons dealer. Still need to rank her out. Well, I can take down that cheater now, huh? With the help of my kindness, let's do it. All right, then. <laughs> mm -hmm. Futaba, what's wrong? It's not like you to come out here this late. <laughs> Look, Sojiro. Damn cat. Uncle's bank info, transaction history, credit details. I've got tons of dirt on them. How'd you get your hands on this stuff? Hacking, of course. Uncle's in loads of debt. He'll never win a suit against us now that we have all the data. This is a criminal offense, you idiot. There's no way we'd be able to use this stuff in court. But, Jeez. I've known all along how badly in debt he is. He's not going to try and take custody back, so don't go doing stupid crap like this, okay? But, Sorjiro, I did it because of that stuff he said to you. About that, I've been thinking. When push came to shove, I wasn't there to help you. So you know, maybe there's somewhere better for you to, out there. Somewhere better? Am I not supposed to be here? Am I just in the way? No, that's not it. You don't want me either, Sojiro. That's not what I meant. I just think it might be better for your own sake. Fine, I still have Ty and Mona and all the others. You can just stay here and play with your stupid coffee bean. Smooth. <sighs> she likes you guys way more than she likes me. Makes sense, though. You're the ones who saved her, after all. Where did I go wrong? I really did try to care for Futaba. Look where that got me, though. Told myself she was the reason I kept making Wakaba's curry here. But deep down, I think that was just an excuse to stay distant. At the end of the day, the coffee and the curry people love so much are ju are both just excuses. Uh, might be right. Yeah, I mean, I spent more time in this cafe than I ever did trying to talk to Futaba. I want to go out for a smoke, try to cool off a bit. Sorry to lay this on you, but can you go after Futaba for me? I should head upstairs. Wanna talk? Yeah, thanks. You know, Mom used to talk about Sergio a ton when I was little. How good he was at making curry, how interesting he was to talk to, remember everything. I even remember how she smiled when she talked about him. Mom really liked Sergio. I said some real mean stuff tonight. It's not his fault mom's incident happened. It's not his fault I shut myself away from the world. And because of me, Sojiro lost a crap ton of money. I just thought I'd be able to stay here with him if my hacking worked. You guys are one awkward duo. <laughs> I think I get that from him. Futaba, uh, can I come in? Look, I'm sorry about what I said just now. And well, if it's okay with you, I want you to stay here forever. I know it might be more fun living with people your age like Ty, but I'll do my damnedest to see things from your perspective. So, will you stay with me? Ah. <laughs> was, that some, was that supposed to be some kind of proposal? Hey, quit your laughing. You're exhausting as ever. Hey, Sojiro. I know I've caused you a lot of trouble, but I really do want to be here. So let's keep living together. Sorry for not stay saying that sooner. Oh, and thanks for taking me in... Someone, taking in someone as horrible as me. Are you sure I'm good enough? 
I don't want anyone else. Heh, <laughs> no hesitation. Don't come complaining to me if you regret it. Actually, I'm not going to let you regret it. If you ever need help, just tell me. I may not be graceful, but I'll be there to protect you. And you can stay with me for as long as you like, forever if you want. I will. Forever. <laughs> Can't wait to keep sort of living with you too, Ty. Ugh, it's almost time for that live stream. The director's gonna be on this week. I'm out of here. Bye! I was such a fool. My whole life I've taken the easy way out to avoid these kinds of conflicts. I didn't stand up for walkabout when I knew something was off, and I didn't stand up for you either. Instead, I went on and on about how you can't fight back against the laws of our society. How you should just accept the hand you're dealt with, dealt in life. But those were just mere excuses I made to keep myself in line. They gave me the easy way out I wanted so bad. Maybe instead of all that coffee crap, I should have been teaching you not to make the same mistakes I did. There I go, ranting again. But I feel like I've managed to put a lot behind me today. Thanks, Thanks for making me realize what's really important in life. Level up! Alright. I'm going home. Alright, better head home too. Don't stay up too late, okay? Don't want you oversleeping. God, that took like almost this entire day in it. Killing my time. Hmm. What do you think the Phantom Thieves are going to do about Kumara? <clears throat> it's important work to the history of literature for being the first to use the word robot. <clears throat> Duh, make him have a change of heart. These corrupt corporations should go, just go bankrupt. Quiet down. Hey, you're in class right now. Quit talking about Kumara and the Phantom Thieves. Jeez. Come here, Kuna. You were listening at least, right? Answer this question. The word robot didn't come from English, so what country did it come from? Czechoslovakia. Way I feel like go. they changed that one in one. That's right. Maybe. It originated from Czechoslovakia, a European country. I suppose the question was a little obscure. The word robot comes from the Czech, Czech word robota. Robota actually means slave labor. Wow, he knew that? Woo! <coughs> Existing only for slave labor. Even from the origin of their name, robots are pitiful. Well, you could argue we're not too different ourselves, having to keep working in, in order to live. She seems tired. But anyhow, if Akumara doesn't see other as people, we need to change his heart. God. Hold. Really? Nobody wants to hang out anymore. I'm all alone. I'm just call it a day, shit. Well, you're standing here. Can I do anything with you? All right. Sweet, we have ourselves a route now. We gotta do what I mean at the hideout? No. Then the night. Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. I mean, I guess we can go up in Mentos, but I want to rank out, max out her social. Oh, yeah. I nearly forgot because of how good Haru is fighting. But she's new to the team, right? Shouldn't we do what we did with Yusuke and Makoto? Oh, uh, you mean the Fantasy Basic Training? There's much we need to teach her. Yes. Please do. Oh, God damn it. Someone's excited. Mm. Then again, I already told her the gist of things. What other stuff should we talk about? Oh, about how we defeat my fiance in there when we have an effect on my father. Nope. They did something similar in my palace, but I'm perfectly fine. Is that so? But man, that cognitive person stuff is crazy. He was so similar that even Haru couldn't tell. That might have just been a coincidence. Usually cognitive people look totally different. The version of me in Kamashita's castle was terrible. 
Ah, and the version of me at the museum was a painting, not even a person. Um... Now that you mention it, why isn't there a cognitive version of me? Is it somewhere in there? Yes, but it's only in Royal. Well, I could imagine a couple of reasons why we haven't seen it. But I don't think you'd like it. Come on, I don't think about the dark oh, stuff. Anyway, right. it's, it's, if the dude's cognition can change the scenery or even the people in the pi palace, couldn't you use that to make a dream world filled with places and people you love? Man, palaces are super promising. My greatest hopes and dreams might still come true. <laughs> well, that's kind of impossible this time. <laughs> but maybe we should try in the future. That sounds fun. <sighs> in any case, if Haru follow the conversation, there's nothing else we need to teach her. I didn't mean to do all this. Exit. I, I just wanted to end the day. It's cool that that's allowed me to do that back out. My goal is Hifumi. Ah, you're back. There she is. The day of my exhibition match is finally here. Do you have time today? I'd like to see you beforehand. I'll be right there. Thank you very much. I'll be waiting at the church. Thank you. After I confessed, I was scorned by the media. I bet everyone wants me to lose. However, I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. I'm going to win with these very hands. Give it all you got. Yes. I will. Well, it's time. We have to go to the venue. You won't be able to go inside the match room, but you can watch over the, inter the internet if you All like. Right. Well then, I'm off. An online broadcast of the match. The announcers are com commentating on the gameplay. Is this the end of the road for the phony princess? She's getting pushed back quite a bit. If only a matter. It's only a matter of time now. If Fumi's biting her lip, she doesn't seem to be doing so well. Oh, now that was a match for the play. Perhaps her skills are of genuine article. Oh no, that's not good. The next move will surely result in checkmate. Yofumi looks troubled as she's being pushed around the board. She hasn't made a move. I'm thinking phony princess, princess real defeat. As the headline for our next article. I concede. destroyed out there. It was as if an ant had challenged an elephant and a shogi player should know her limits. <sighs> that was the first time I have ever forfeited a match. I was so ashamed of myself I didn't want to hurt the pieces any longer. Uh, a very queenly decision. You remember. One must lose with grace, with dignity, until the very end, as the queen should. But I confess, I'm confused. I mean, naturally, I'm disappointed that I lost, but I still feel happy, as if a demon has been purged from me. The moment I realized that victory was impossible, I felt a strange... I felt a strange peace. What's important is what I do from this point on. I played so disgracefully in front of you. Perhaps you can just view it as an example of what not to do? You understand that there are times which require one to forfeit with valor and grace. Level up! Alright. Um. I've been thinking about this for a while. Let's make today your last lesson. Spending time with me has only brought you pain. So this is a goodbye. I want to become stronger. The things you say sometimes. Perhaps I should take a lesson from your that ambition and nature of yours. <laughs> if that is what you wish, then prepare yourself. Your training will be quite intensive. I suppose this is a friendly rivalry for both of us and shogi friends. Let's go home.
Uh, going to the store. Da, 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 yeah. All right, you probably need all sorts of tools. But sure, kill a day. Cutting edge gadgets? Don't you think you should have something like that as a modern day hero? Like what? Mm, you know, like a hidden camera or maybe a wiretap? Well, I guess those are more for spies than for heroes. You know, wouldn't it be super cool to complete your mission with top secret technology? And then I could become your sidekick and support you? Your sidekick, that would be so cool. Huh? Hmm? Kamiya san, what are you doing here? Huh? What? No way. Are you the famous fortune teller, Chihaya-san-chan? Yes, that's me. Why? How? Where did you meet her? You know Chihaya-san-chan? I knew you were amazing. Anyway, Kamiya-san, do you know where they sell TVs? My CRT stopped working. I think it's broken. CRT? The famous fortune teller still uses old... I mean, you must take good care of your things. Um, is this your friend? Hmm, that's not it. He seems like more of a fanboy rather than a friend. What? Really? You can tell just by looking at me? Can you even see my future? No, I can't. At least not without my tarot cards, anyway. But I do keep a careful eye on my clients, so I can predict lots of things just by observing people. Um... Hmm, but what is it about Kamiya-san that makes you such a fanboy, though? Oh, no, well, actually... Kimi is really knowledgeable about consumer electronics. He knows everything I... Everything! I respect him. Oh, is that so? What great timing, then. Could you help pick out a new TV for me? Sorry, Kimi. Uh... Leave it to me. Yay! Well, then, let's look for the TV section. This is not, I've never seen this one before. Wait for me. See you. Man, that was exhausting. I was going home today. Blah blah blah. Can I stop this part now? Give me a text conversation now, right? Ah, you're back. Ooh, whoop. Not available. Yeah, so Jiro again? Shit, dude. I should write something. Taking way longer than I wanted to. Alright, thanks for watching. You never see it come back. You see